Floss Tube, it's Karen Stitches. It's Friday the 24th of April and this is video 68. Hello and welcome. Uh, I hope you're all keeping well during these strange times. Um, keeping busy with your stitching. Welcome if you're a new subscriber and welcome back if you're a returning viewer. It's lovely to be uh, have you with me. I What have we been up to? Same old, same old? What can you say really? Um, kids have gone back to school this week so they're work, uh, back working from home and Hubs and I continue to work from home so you know no change I don't know what else to say uh, so I've actually I've, I've, I've had a good sort out of my stitching stuff thank you to all those who watched my stash dye video um, I've recorded the second part to that and that'll come out soon um, and all the great suggestions for extra videos so I've made lots of plans and all being well there should be a video for me every Friday so every other one every other week will be my normal update and every other other week will be uh, a special edition so I'll go I'll do some on black work I've got the second part of my stash dive I've got my frugal finishing I've got mania plans will be out next week um, I forget what some of the others were but that takes us right through to I think the end of July so uh, look for those and um, welcome any other suggestions you have so uh, let's jump straight in and I'll show you what I've been stitching I set myself a challenge to finish five pieces this month and I finished I showed you last time that I finished the little pair designed the winter, uh, Christmas pair and I'd finished mermaid so that was two of the five so um, I've got a couple more finishes to show you in a bit but I'm gonna do my whips first because I am. So I've been stitching some of the, my reward for finishing all five things was uh, to stitch some of the uh, Be Well patterns until Mania. So I put myself together a palette that would work for, that I'm going to use for all of them. The only other thing I need to do is select a sort of more turquoisey blue that will blend. And then, so that's my palette. Uh, uh, mostly weeks, except for Classic Colour Works Rose Petal and DMC in black and white and also uh, a bit of grey in eight, uh, 415 so I must say I am absolute this is my, one of my favourite ones that I'm using at the moment this is Basil and I do, this is wonderful really loving that one so I will show you what I've been uh, what I'm working on at the moment so this is being stitched on a sample of Barely Bronze Linen by Sparklers. These, this is one of the pieces that Kate kindly gifted me when I did the fabric feature um, a few months ago. And this is lovely to stitch on. Kate's linens are lovely. So actually I'm going to leave the card behind it because this is, this is where I started yesterday and this is the Ink Circles one. So you can see I'm using that basil for the well uh, bricks. Um, and it's that that's the one I'm doing see so I've got all my half started threads stuck on a needle minder um, I'm leaving off the words on most of them because I have planned for them all so that's my that's one whip um, I've been zoom chatting most evenings with uh, some friends and it's been lovely and it's great because I just sit and stitch rather than sit there scrolling through my phone and wasting stitching time and I can't see my other whip there we go and I'm also so uh, I've been working on mandala this is the fifth of the five projects that I need to finish and I've made some really good progress since the last video this is ink circles ribbon mandala um, it's a free design on their website and I think I've got it linked I'll link it below so that's the way up it is. Um, the multicolour is Jodery Design, and the other two are just uh, the other the per pink, the purple, and the blue are DMCs. Uh, yeah, Jodery Designs Galaxy. I have no idea how I just said that or not. So I've either told you twice or just the once. Um, I outlined all the ribbons, so it really is just a case of going into fill, 
filming now and that's around I think that leaves me around 600 stitches to go so I've been kind of doing one a day they're about one ish a day but it will be finished by the end of the month so really pleased with that and I'll be that's actually my second oldest whip so I'll be glad to get that one off the um off the pile and that'll take me down to eight whips not including any bee wells that I'm working on okay so those are my only two whips at the active whips at the moment obviously I have another uh eight cylinder thing but I'm not that I'm working on at the moment so no FFOs this week hopefully you'll see some next uh, regular video but I have got four fit four finishes for you today so I stitched link is my home boys be well and stitch design using um, a jod another jodry thread so this is candy apple put it there instead so this was a lovely stitch and this is just a bit of ice blue ada and I'm going to finish it into a little pillowy or something like that and that's going to a friend I stitched blackberry rabbit speedwell I may just add in a couple of little flowers in that bit there too and I just realised when I ironed it that I hadn't put in the back stitch there so I do actually have to quickly finish that but I'm still calling it a finish there's a couple of mistakes in it so I may have had to kind of you know fudge it a little bit and then another finish is the Seagulls cover kit from Cross Stitcher. Um, so that's that one. And I am actually going to finish it like that with the bunting at the bottom. So, oh, there we go. So that's what that black line will be for. So, and they did actually send the fabric so I can do that so hopefully I can get a few finishes done in the next few days and my other finish as you all know I was working a lot on Alpine by Satsuma Street and that's that one and so this is the PDF version that I bought and printed Thankfully, before I stopped being able to go into my office, because our printer there is much better than my home printer. But hey, and this is the finish. So I've stitched this for hubby, and this is on 32 count Habu from Chromatic Alchemy. And I ended up googling the word because I wanted to know what it was, and it's a desert, a, a violent desert storm. So there you go. So stitched in the call for DMC, the deer is wouldn't road down further down than it should be but it doesn't matter so the lake's a little bit um fudged in places but other than that everything's called for other than the fabric and i'm going to be finishing it as um in a similar fashion sort of like that it's a wall hanging for hubby and i can finally get out and find because i think i've seen where i might be able to get one to hang it from just need to be able to get into the shops these days because I saw one in um, one of our British re uh, discount retailers on their website, B&M, because we have one just at the road. But it's still open because it sells food and toiletries, but the queues for it are horrendous, absolutely horrendous. So it can wait a, f it can wait a couple of weeks. So on to, let's just look at this again. I do, I love this. I thoroughly enjoyed stitching it and makes me want to start a Satsuma Street another one because I do love it a lot it was an absolute joy to stitch and that fabric was perfect love that fabric so and I'm glad that I still have half a piece left so that'll be yeah so if that's an 18 but that'll be still I've still got a 9 by 13 piece so how perfect is that um plans let's do some plans so I have a plan for B wells as you can see behind me I have a plan to put my B wells along there because it does have a little hook at the top and uh, I'm going to stitch four so I've stitched one not the ones in the um, green and pink is, is being gifted so the B pink circles I'm gonna do that one and then that one 
uh, they're all going to be uh, done in graduating hoops and hung along that wall. So that's my plan well, along the cupboard. So, um, I'm, I've, and I need to get that done by Startomania because that's what I told myself. So that's my that's basically my plan for the next for the next. Well, okay, let's talk next two weeks. So the next two weeks, I'm going to finish my B Wells and the mandala. Uh, if I remember, I'm going to tomorrow. It is Mary 25 stitching, which is a hashtag started by um, Stitchology Sarah and uh, the hashtag on the screen maybe. And if I remember, I'm going to try and attack that snow bank on Peace on Earth because. I need to get past that because it's a lovely design and I really want to finish it and that's my third oldest whip so I would like to fin finish it by its second anniversary I doubt it'll happen but you know we set these lofty goals sometimes so then then mainly all start next Friday uh, is the first of May funnily enough and I'll have my mania video out on the first of May so I'm just waiting for the last couple of bits to come in um, so I can finish kitting up uh my last bits of my mania and then i'll have uh i'll have my, I'll, I'll record my mania plans video which brings us nicely into hall in a roundabout kind of way so i said about my uh my be wells plans those are all the free charts from the be well and stitch hashtag best place to find all the charts either look at the hashtag or check out michelle bendy's instagram profile in her stories where she has all of them saved um so because that's where i've been going to check whether i've got any missed i think i mean i think i've got the saved 20 odd patterns of them and there's others that i would want to stitch as in their entirety um i adore the blue flowers one um uh, which says let joy be unconfined i think something like that so i really want to stitch all of that one sorry itchy leg. uh not a frosty bitchy nose today a frosty bitchy leg um so anyway, uh, when I did do some food shopping on Tuesday, Aldi had all its craft stuff in. So I picked up a pack of four wooden hoops to do that with. They're not the best quality in the world. Um, I probably wouldn't stitch with them because, because you know they are a little bit gappy at the top, but they are absolutely fine for stitching and for a fiver it was um, for finishing. The, yeah, fine for a fibre. I picked up a lovely fat quarter bundle. Ooh, that's a bit, I've got to do it that way because it's a bit better. Um, but they have very kind of delicate prints on them. Um, uh, that's fairly true. It's a little bit darker than that actually. Uh, that's a bit better. I love, love the, um, the mustard and the navy and the green. And I could see me using the blue, which is, the pit print's very fi fine on that one. And I kind of think I might use that pink for the Be Well. So I think that would go. Oh, let's just throw it on the floor. I think that would work quite nicely. So they were a really good buy. They had lots of kind of bigger, bolder prints, but I thought those are perfect for um, backing and things like that. So, and I also, whilst I was in there, picked up a punch needle kit to have a go at. So I'm a bit disappointed the punch needle isn't like it looks and that looks a slightly better one, but it is what it is. It kind of they kind of do theirs on what look on an Ada kind of thing. But I figured if nothing more, it'll get me used to trying the technique. So I really fancy having a go at it, but didn't want to outlay for really decent stuff and if I thought I don't like doing this at all. So we'll give it a go. Um so yeah, mania plans. Lottie and I did some tea dyeing, tea and coffee dyeing last week. So that's just a plain coffee dye. That was just white 32 count Murano. And that's a tea dye that she did. I haven't ironed any of these yet. They've just literally washed, um, done them and dried them. I didn't bake these ones. I'm gonna iron fix them um, for the Christmas ornament. So I think she did a fantastic job in her first foray into dyeing. And then I just did a little bit of Ada which is one of the sparkly ones. Um, I'll hold it against that. 
and she kind of has gone a bit yellowy grey I'm not entirely convinced by it but I needed something that wasn't white but just needed a small bit of Ada so and that was done with a green tea so jury's out on that one so we'll see we'll see right and last bit of haul I have got an order coming in from Peakside but they're only shipping kind of out once a week which is absolutely fine with me um, it'll arrive when it arrives post slow I think we've had post twice this week I mean we had a big stack today so um, is what it is um, this is Black Dahlia from uh, Sparklers and this is for part of many plans um, believe it or not for a Christmas ornament so I'll tell you more about that in my mania video cross stitch crazy has come in but I'm not going to flip through this one today I'm going to save that for a, a couple of weeks um, purely because uh, crazy have um, halted publication for the time being they've decided that um, they're only going to put out world of cross stitch that their publishing groups only going to put out word of, uh, world of cross stitch for the next couple of months so I've got time to I'll flip through that one next time because I didn't have one last time and I think that's because that was that arrived the day after or something it was late but everything seems to be okay with cross stitcher so let's have a look in the book uh, the free gift was this little cute scissor uh, not scissor pouch needle book which I think is really pretty actually if I didn't do it it would actually make a really good biscorny top um, they don't show you the design completely flat out no but let's see, show you that no. that's the one side of it and there uh, oh, um, and that's the other side so that's obviously the middle and then that board around there so I think but you, you could do parts of those and make a really good biscorny so there's a tip from me to you usual welcome bits page of contents and let's have a look they're quite cool and the stained art deco stained glass star things those are just out there and they are by Hawthorne Handmade um, features um, hmm, geeky stitching company and um, Cheryl McKinnon's oh Biscornu of the month things. What else we got? Uh, Stitching with Jess is a uh, kind of a sunset mountain silhouette saying aim high. Usual Willow Fabrics order um, offers. Oh, the what's it gonna call it? I'm gonna stitch these. I do love these. Uh, although it's June I ditch the flip flops and probably throw in a tennis racket because June to me means Wimbledon maybe lent pims to lemonade mm. possibly that llama's fun not llama alpaca yeah hey llama that's Maria by Maria Diaz I can't sp split the pages up. I really wish they would tell you who the designers were on the first page. It really does frustrate me that. That's the cushion. I'm going to guess Emma Condon. Oh, that was right. I should have just gone with my gut there. Yeah, Emma Condon. But great motifs to do separately too. We've got the letters page. Um, an interview with the author of the, a modern embroidery book, Laura Strutt. Portrait of some dogs. Well, I suppose it's great to stitch individually as well, those. The letter library is my doing stuff. technical term mice doing stuff we've got some cards just the two of us I think these are Jereen Jones I think 
Okay, if I remember seeing on her Facebook page, yep, Doreen Jones. Yoga poses. Emma Condon again has designed that one. These cute little bookmarks done on plastic canvas. I think. Yeah, it looks like plastic canvas. And giant paper clips by Maria Diaz. Yeah, plastic Ada. Father's Day stitch challenges. Cute little typewriter for card. A little note. And this has got a selection of other, that's an Emma Condon again, and a selection of little um, other little phrases. So you're just my type, thank you, miss you, hello, to go in if you, just in case you fancy the change. We've got part two of the world map. That is such a beautiful design. Excuse me. And then the stitch along, the, the oh, I can't think what it's called. Alice stitch along is, tweed, is the Tweedles and oh that's what it's looking like so far mine still looks like a blank piece of ada that uh, blank piece of linen and oh yes i forgot about that and super exciting to see people i know in the magazine so um yay for christine and joe Got the, they're doing the, a new stitch along um, they've got a sampler next month and a little brooch which is cute yeah and so I was looking at it thinking that needs some beads but it's got French knots so they would become beads because life's too short for French knots because I'm hope I'm so hit and miss with them so um, yeah so that pretty oh no hang on I'm gonna I've got oh, top of my head a packet of hoops on the floor um, train of thoughts just gone out the window. No, yeah, it's gone. Um, I got a little video clip where I drew the winner for the scissors. Um, so I'll put that in here. I can't get the scissors right now because the shops are shut. So, but I can certainly talk to the winner and get. Um, we can discuss the custom fob that I'm going to make for you too and all being well as soon as we can get to the shops i can get your prize sent out to you so i've made a spreadsheet with all of the entrants for the scissor giveaway so let's see who random.org chooses number 13 mel oh that's funny okay mel um i'll drop you a message and we will sort something out so um that's wonderful so back to the regular video so congratulations uh, so let's have a new giveaway and um, they're just some small charts that should be easy enough to post um, I'll check the weight and everything and so I can go when I go to the post office in the next few days I can get the right weight stamps ready for them um, anyway so we've got this Leslie Tear design which is Maypole I figured May, day, May next month we'll have the Maypole and so I'd like to stitch the maypole or we've got a little rose trellis bookmark and that's a Joan Elliott design I've got a better picture without big stickers across the front of it so I'd like to stitch the bookmark or the maypole so these are really actually they're nice quality you can see they're quite thick cards so um I'd like yeah Tell me what if you'd like to stitch any of these and look out for my mania video next week. So take care and stay safe and happy stitching friends. Bye bye. Thanks for watching my channel and leaving me such great comments. They really do mean a lot. Thanks for all the likes, the subscriptions. Don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications of my new videos and happy stitching.